Good morning, it's Wednesday the 7th of July. Today is Tell the Truth Day. Since I've been doing these daily reflections, I've realised that there are all sorts of special dates in the calendar, including today, which is Tell the Truth Day. Does that mean on any other day of the year, I don't need to tell the truth? Or is today, Tell the Truth Day, a reminder of the values, of the importance of the values of honesty and truthfulness, which sometimes in our world are in short supply? Generally, I think I try and be a truthful person. Of course, there are some occasions when I've been asked if I like someone's new hairstyle or their glasses or a particularly vibrant outfit, when I've had to be a little bit creative with how I respond. But hopefully, being economical with the truth is not something I do often. Being honest is part of my Christian character, and it's important as a minister that I can be trusted. As we think about being truthful, we could ask the question, what is truth? It's a question that Pilate asked Jesus as part of their exchange during Jesus' trial. It's a question which still seems to be an issue for many of our leaders today, as they seem to struggle at times with honesty and integrity. Last week, the Methodist Conference met, and some significant decisions were made about the life of the church. Among the various decisions that made, there was one that got into the national press, and it was the decision to allow same-sex marriages to take place on Methodist premises, and presided over by Methodist ministers. I watched the debate about this as it was broadcast online. It took place with grace and dignity, and many different opinions were expressed, each person believing that they were speaking the truth and sharing their understanding of scripture and God's will. It's a reminder that truths are different for each one of us, and depending on our view of the Bible, our experience, our tradition, and how we understand God's will for us. What felt very significant in the debate about same-sex marriage was the desire for our unity in Christ to be recognised as greater than anything else which might divide us. Within any group of people, there'll be a variety of opinions over which we may never agree. In a discussion of this nature, of course, some of these opinions and beliefs are deeply held and making a decision either way was going to cause joy to some and hurt to others. Jesus is described as the way, the truth and the life. However we feel about the decisions that have been made, I hope and pray that we can put Christ first and recognise that he is the truth the one in whom we can trust and believe in above all of us. It's in his love and grace that we can continue to be united despite any differences that we may have. It's in his love and grace that we move forward as a welcoming, inclusive church in which there's a place for all, whatever truth they hold on to. Let's pray. Loving God, help us to live with honesty and integrity and show these values in our dealings with others. We pray for the Methodist Church and for unity and love following last week's decisions. May we centre our lives and our church on Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. Amen. <laughs>